The hot sauce I'm going to be reviewing today picked up two awards earlier this year at the 2020 Canadian Hot Sauce Awards. Best label for a hot sauce and best medium hot sauce. This is Villain Sauce Company's Smoky Mountain Punch Smoky Habanero Hot Sauce. What's going on guys, it's Bill Moore. Okay, today I'm gonna to start the first of four reviews for a Canadian hot sauce company located in Brantford, Ontario, Canada. And this is the Villain Sauce Company. And I'm gonna start off with their award-winning Smoky Mountain Punch, Smoky Habanero Hot Sauce. Just check out that awesome label. This did win uh, best label for a hot sauce at the uh, 2020 Canadian Hot Sauce Awards that were held earlier this year and a Smoky Mountain Punch also picked up Best Medium Hot Sauce at that same award show. That is that is awesome. So congratulations, Villain Sauce Company. All right, well, let's get into this. Now, these products were sent to me from the owner and the creator, Mr. Chris Badignac. And there's a picture of Chris right there on the right and look who that is on the left our good friend Mike Jack from Mike's Hot Reviews I just had to do that uh, anyway I think that was taken back in February earlier this year 2020 at that award show let me go ahead and read a little bit about the villain sauce company it says after years of trying various hot sauces for the extreme heat and also trying milder sauces to get the flavor boost that hot sauces can provide Founder Chris Badignac decided to try his hand at making his own hot sauce to get the best of both worlds. One dark and stormy night, the first hot sauce experiment was conducted, and from that moment on, there was no turning back as trial after trial produced unique flavors with different levels of heat and flavor combinations, more astounding than the next. Founded in 2019, based out of Brantford, Ontario, Villain Sauce Company was born and the primary objective is to produce hot sauces that will give you an amazing full flavor experience. That's what I'm looking for. But also kick your ass. Uh-oh. Just enough to know it got kicked. The starting lineup consists of four sauces. I'll be reviewing them all. First up, once again, is the Smoky Mountain Punch. Okay, the Smoky Habanero. Let's go ahead and get into this. I want to read the ingredients or what it says from the website about this. It says, this sauce will take you on a smoky walk down flavor lane with a smack to your yaps to wake you back up. If you like, if you like that smoky smell and taste with some heat to back it up, then you will dig what we are laying down here. This pairs well with chicken and rice and everything else nice. Now, their heat ratings on here seem a little bit high, but... That's okay, this is six and a half out of 10, and this is his mildest hot sauce. So here's the ingredients on this one, guys. Sodium is not bad, only 35 milligrams. But here's where it gets interesting. I love this flavor profile. We have chili pepper, apple cider vinegar, and I guess that's habanero peppers. Well, maybe different kinds of chili pepper at the beginning. Uh, apple cider vinegar, onions, red peppers, habanero pepper, there we go. Vinegar, garlic, water, ghost peppers got some ghost in here chipotle peppers sun-dried tomatoes smoke flavor olive oil sea salt and spices now i've said this many times you probably uh, heard me say it that one of my favorite flavor profiles is a savory tomato onion and garlic hot sauce and this one really does uh, fit that bill okay here's what this one looks like guys look at that beautiful color and consistency i love this I would consider this a fairly thick sauce, but not so thick that, you know, you got to really sh you know, shake it hard to get out of the bottle. This is going to be nice and smooth. Comes across as uh, consistency, slightly creamy, not too much, but uh, it's, everything's pretty much pureed up. But I just love the way that this one kind of sticks to the side of the bottle like that. Really love that. Okay. Let's go ahead and get into the aroma. Now, this is where it really gets good, guys. When I first smelled this, I said, wow, this is super, super savory. I love this aroma. It's got a roasted aroma, and I did find out that Chris does smoke um, some of the peppers and I believe the garlic. Uh, 
it just has such an awesome aroma. It's roasted, it's smoky, it's savory, it's slightly tangy, probably coming from the apple cider vinegar and those sun-dried tomatoes. But I love sun-dried tomatoes in a hot sauce. This is amazing, guys. So you get the garlic. You get those onions, really, too, uh, near the front. Mm, smells super, super good. Really an awesome aroma. I've said this before. You know, the, be the you want the sauce to taste good. You want you want the label to be good, and this has got a good label, an award-winning label. You want what's inside to taste good. And of course, this one won best medium hot sauce. But you also, I love it when a sauce smells good. A lot of times the sauce can be really good, but maybe it just doesn't have that much of an aroma. It comes more out in the flavor when you taste it. But this one is just so savory. It just it just comes right out of the bottle. Really, really good. Okay, I'll show you what this one looks like. Here we come. Don't get stuck on me now. Oh, I just had a little bit there at the top stuck. But this one comes out pretty, there we go. I love this consistency, look at that. All right, here we go. Mm. Wow. Woo. Outstanding, fantastic. This stuff is a flavor bomb. Now it immediately kind of um, gives you a quick little <clears throat> burn. I guess it's really coming, you know, from the habanero peppers and the ghost peppers that are in here, but it is not super, super hot. It's got a nice kick to it. It does punch you a little bit. Um, this, did I say that this one was the mildest? Let me see. No, this is not the mildest. I'm sorry. The good guy sauce. I'll be reviewing that soon. That is the mildest. That's rated 6 out of 10. So this is the second, second one up in the heat rating. So this is not the mildest. This is definitely medium. But I love that smoky habanero flavor. Um, you get those sun-dried tomatoes. It's tangy a little bit. It's roasted. It's smoky. Super, super savory. This is just outstanding. Um, heat on this one, I think I would put this one at a solid uh, 3 out of 10 on my 1 to 10 scale. Um, maybe a low 4, but I'll just go with a solid 3. It's got a nice little burn, but it is not too much. I love that. When a sauce company can use uh, super hots, like the ghost pepper in combination with other different types of peppers, but keep the the burn enjoyable, as I say to you, so you can enjoy the burn. Um, and here's what I did with this one, guys. I put this on some pizza, and it's just fantastic on pizza. This is a type of hot sauce that I would put on eggs, breakfast sandwiches, pizza, burritos, tacos, burgers, uh, really savory comfort food. This is just fantastic. Put this on some pulled pork. Uh, put it on grilled chicken. Put it on any type of grilled meats. This would really, really shine. But great job on this one, Chris. Uh, everybody check this company out at villainsauceco.ca. That link will be down in the description. Highly recommended. This is just super delicious. I uh, love this flavor profile on this one. All right, so check it out. Chris, thank you so much for sending it. I greatly appreciate it. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. And until the next time, make sure you enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.